Big story we are tracking. Ten Karnataka lawmakers would say that their resignations had not been accepted by the Speaker of the State Assembly are now finally meeting the Speaker after the Supreme Court ruled that a meeting had to take place at 6 p.m. this evening. Exactly at 6 p.m., these leaders trooped into the State Assembly and straight into the office of the Speaker. The Speaker, for his part, had separately approached the Supreme Court asking for an urgent hearing where he wanted to hear why he needed more time to consider uh, the resignation letters which had been submitted. These had been, this request had been disallowed by the Supreme Court uh, they, uh, and, uh, and therefore there is in a sense an element of pressure on the Speaker uh, to try and get these proceedings over and done with. But whether there will be a ruling on, on whether or not these resignations are accepted or not, uh, there is no clarity on that at the moment. Let's go back uh, to NDTV's Maya Sharma, who's at the Vidhan Soda uh, in Bengaluru. Uh, Maya, what's happening around you? Well, it's all happening inside the Speaker's Chamber. We are, in fact, outside the Speaker's Chamber right now. Inside the 10 MLAs, that is Pratap Gowda Patil, Ramesh Jarkiholi, Bhairati Basavaraj, BC Patil, ST Somshekar, Shivaram Hebbar, Mahesh Kumatali, all of the Congress are inside. Also three JDS MLAs, K, Gopalaya, H. Vishwanath, and Narayan Gowda, those three JDS MLAs. These are the ones who approached the Supreme Court, and these are the 10 men the Supreme Court said should come to the Speaker's office. They have come. They managed to come from Mumbai to Bengaluru in time to meet him at 6 p.m. So while D.K. Shiv Kumar could not actually get them to come out of the hotel, nor could he get inside that Mumbai hotel to meet them, the Supreme Court, of course, did manage to get them to come out, to come back to Bengaluru, to talk to the Speaker. The Speaker has always been saying that he wanted to see them, wanted to make sure they were not here under coercion. But the drama of the Karnataka political crisis right now, they arrived when we saw them arrive from at the Vidhan Sauda with police escort. There were riot vans of police accompanying them. The Supreme Court had directed the DGP to provide them with police escort. So these MLAs coming to meet their speaker with a huge amount of police escort as well as sad indication of what politics here in the state has come to. Why was that necessary? Well, just yesterday, right here, when the two Congress MLAs, Dr. Sudhakar and MTP Nagaraj, came to resign, they were surrounded by the Congress. They were taken away to the room on the third floor of KJ George. The BJP alleged that they were assaulted and pushed by Congress people, including ministers. I spoke to Dr. Sudhakar about that, asked if he was assaulted. He said he wouldn't use the word assaulted, but that one MLC had behaved in a very, very bad manner. I also asked Priyank Karge if, in fact, he had assaulted the MLAs. He said no, he hadn't, that while he did try to take him to the room to talk to him, he did, in fact, do that. This is the door. This is the door in the Speaker's office at Vidhan Sauda. Inside are those 10 MLAs. The Speaker had indicated earlier he was in no hurry to take a decision, but the Supreme Court seems to have speeded things up a bit by insisting that the MLAs meet him today. He'd actually given them time until next week. He'd given them time to meet. He'd given them appointments later on. He was certainly in no hurry when it came to meeting them and deciding whether the resignations were to be accepted or not. But things are speeding up now. They approach the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court telling the Speaker, meet them at 6 o'clock today and think about what the resignation should so be.